Now, the Fox Illinois Sports Desk, sponsored by Route 66 Solar. It feels like just yesterday we were cutting down the nets at the high school basketball state championships, but we're already less than a month away from the spring playoffs beginning, and for the next month, we're going to prepare you for all of the playoffs across central Illinois. Glenwood traveling to Rochester to take on the Rockets on Wednesday. Junior Rylan Law would be a force in this game, starting things off by running through the defense and beating the keeper to make it 1-0 Titans. A few minutes later, the Titans would strike again. Kinsley Zellers takes the free kick and delivers a strike into the box, which is deposited by McKenny Yeager to go up. 2-0. The Rockets defense would stay strong as the shot is saved by Elise Day and Myra Gibson would recover and block the second chance attempt. Glenwood would not let up the pressure and add on a third goal. This one, Ryland Law's second of the game. Glenwood would go on to win this one by a final score of 3-0. And over Monticello, where the 20-0 Sages took to their home field to take on South Fork, the Storm able to find an open space in the Monticello defense for the base knock. Shortly after, Salt Fork with the blooper dropping in front of Ike Young, bouncing over his head, two on base. But check this out, Eli Kraft behind the plate with the gun down to second, caught stealing. Monticello not getting much going in the bottom of the first offensively, ground out to end the inning with two on in the top of the second. Jacob Long getting out of the jam with the strikeout. That game would end the Sages winning 10 to nothing. We are three days away from Illinois spring game, and I know it is just April, but it will be the first glimpse at what to expect from this upcoming college football season for the Illini. Luke Altmeyer expected to start at quarterback, but where do the rest of the pieces fall? Illinois losing receivers Casey Washington and Isaiah Williams to graduation. They also lost Reggie Love to the transfer portal. He took his talents to Purdue. On the defensive side of the ball, they welcomed back Miles Scott, Gabe Ackes, among others. And while returning defensive back Xavier Scott will not be fully active for this upcoming game, he is just excited to be in front of the Illinois fans for the first time since November. It's going to be fun. Um, unfortunately, I won't be playing, but just to see my guys out there, you know, just running around and, you know, making plays, um, it's definitely going to be exciting. You know, no matter if I'm playing or not, you can actually, you know, I'm, I'm just as, you know, I'm just as energized as if I was playing. You know, that's, I feel like that's what we're going to bring, you know, to get to, the, to what we got going on here. The spring game is set to kick off at Memorial Stadium at 2 o'clock on Saturday afternoon. That'll do it in sports. I'm Dante Furco. Don't miss a video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today for more Central Illinois news.